I am an agent in crop insurance because it's in my DNA. Well, they continue to fill out. They look nice. My, oh, my had 20 bushel beans here. My parents started the agency <laughs> in 1967. I joined the agency about 13 years ago. The relationships with the farmer. It's um, with my parents starting it so many years ago, we're seeing, you know, three and now sometimes the fourth generation of families. You build a friendship, they become part of your family and we're a part of it all because crop insurance and farming, everyone works so closely together that we need each other and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. So it's so important that we we make sure that everyone else knows how important agriculture is because everybody uses agriculture in one way or the other, whether it's something they eat, something they wear, it's, it's everywhere. That's one of my biggest concerns when every farm bill comes up for renewal because we have a lot of lawmakers that don't understand farming, never stepped foot on a farm. If they didn't have the help from the government, they wouldn't be able to afford to have crop insurance. And if they couldn't afford to have crop insurance, they probably wouldn't be able to afford to farm. And when that happens, then our food is coming from somewhere else that we have no control of. We have to keep it affordable so that we can keep growing our own food. I think that you could look at some premium bills and I don't think that any farmer is gonna tell you that it's cheap because they have skin in the game.